Here I'm going to show you how to get a macro from the internet and then insert it into your workbook. Now we're also going to use um, two shortcuts that I have labeled here. Alt F11 to open the Visual Basic window which is where you're going to install the macro and Alt F8 which is going to display all of the macros that you can use. And these shortcuts will work in most versions of Excel. So they will work in 03 and 07. Now let's begin first by getting a macro. Well, go to the internet, obviously. And here I'm going to use teachexcel.com as an example. And on the home page here, you can simply click free macros. And then you will come to a page of macros and simply select the macro that you want. So here I'm going to select protect and unprotect all worksheets at once. This brings us to the page with the macro and a little description here and then it lists both macros to protect all worksheets at once this macro and to unprotect all worksheets at once. There are also some instructions down here, but the main thing is, even though this is teachexcel.com, if you get a free macro from anywhere on the web, all you have to do is to copy the text of the macro. So here it's labeled very easily in a gray box, but if it weren't, say it was just the same color as everything else, make sure you look for sub in the beginning of most macros, it's going to be sub, not all, and the end of the macro is going to be end sub. So simply select all of this text, copy it, and note this is a very short macro. Many macros will be much larger. You just copy the text, then bar line that window, go back to Excel, and now we want to open the Visual Basic window. So on your keyboard hit Alt F11, and this is going to take you to the Visual Basic window. And this is where you're actually going to install the macro. Now in this window here on the left, make sure that you've navigated to the workbook where you want the macro. Note I have a bunch of workbook open, bunch of workbooks open, and each one of them are different. But I only want the workbook to be in or the macro to be in this workbook. So select that workbook, go to insert module, and another window will open up and simply paste the macro that you copied from the internet into this module. And that's how you get the macro in here. Now it's also important to note that not all macros go in modules. Some go in this workbook or some go in the specific sheet where you want them to run. So if you want it to go into any one of these, simply double click this workbook. Another window will open where you can put the macro there. or double click the sheet where you want the macro to go into. Now this really depends on exactly what kind of macro that you're using, but most of them will simply go into the module, which is right here. Now to get off this screen, simply press Alt F11. Now you have a macro in your workbook. It's usually a good idea to save now, just Control S. And if you want to run the macro, in all versions of Excel, or at least most, simply press Alt F8. And now here is the macro called Protect All. And that's a macro that we just installed. Now down here in Macros In, you can select a location for where you want to look for macros. So in all open workbooks or just this workbook. Now select the macro that you want to run, click it, and hit Run. And in this case, it's going to protect all the worksheets. So if I try to type something in, it's not going to work. Now, that's how you install a macro in a workbook, and that's basically how you can run it. You can also assign it to buttons, checkboxes, and toolbars, etc., etc. But now, if you want to delete the macro from your workbook, all you have to do, hit Alt F11, go back to the Visual Basic window, go down to the module, and you can delete the macro here. So it's gone. 
Now if you want this module window to go away, you can close it here, but you also have to remove it from here. So right click, and then, let me do that again. Right click the module, and then in this list that drops down, you will see something that says remove module one. Click that. Do you want to export it before removing it? It's up to you. And the module's gone. So that's how you can put a macro in the workbook and also delete the macro from the workbook. Very quick, very easy, very simple.